everybody, and welcome to Preschool and Kinder Ready. I'm Miss Jennifer. Today we read The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carl. And we will make an Eric Carl style color sorting palette. But first, let's review our sound of the week. We sang about ants on our arms. <gasps> ah! Oh no, now I have ants on my pants. Woo! Bye ants. What are some other words that begin with the ah sound? Alligator, avocado, achoo, apples. I just loved all of the beautiful colors in that apple. So pretty. And I love the vivid colors that Eric Carle uses in his artwork. Speaking of vivid colors, let's get on that sorting palette. Let's gather all the materials we will need. Five paper plates, tape, glue, and scissors, yarn, black, brown, and white paper, five pieces of construction paper in different colors, and five pieces of tissue paper in the same colors as the construction paper. The first thing that you need to do is choose one color of tissue paper and the matching color of construction paper and one plate. You can use scissors to practice cutting or you can use your fingers and tear the paper. I like to tear the paper because you get these great edges. Now do the same for the tissue paper. If you want, you can do the other colors and pile everything on top of your plate and then glue all at the end, or you can glue each one, one by one. I like to spread my glue all around the plate so that I can just start putting my different materials on. And I'm going to overlap them and spread them around. Look at the great colors I have. You can cover the whole plate or Use a marker of the same color and color the edges. You can even use paint if you'd like. Now complete the other four paper plates. And here they are completed. Next, choose one plate to be the head of your caterpillar. Find a place to lay out your caterpillar on the floor or a long table. To attach the yarn, you'll need to turn over all the plates. Now remember, turn the head over to where the mouth is still facing away from the other plates. Now it's time to attach the yarn. You're going to go through the middle of each plate, leaving about a half an inch between. Now remember to leave a few inches going off the first plate and the last plate. You can even add legs to the bottom of each plate. Now our caterpillar is complete. And now it's time to sort. For more books about colors and other pre-K concepts, Check out the Picture Books Concepts color section of our collection. These and many more books and materials are available for in-person and no-contact checkout and through Library Personal Shopper. Thanks for watching.